Right, if you've been down to NY500 before, you might have seen the car that's behind me. It's quite a special one, and it's very, very interesting. So let's take a quick look at it. So this car is the Rickwood Motorsport HKS R32 GTR. Now, if you're a JDM fanboy and you know your Japanese cars, then you'll recognize the HKS Super Royal livery as perhaps one of the most iconic liveries ever put on a Japanese car. Now, you'll also know that GTRs have sort of adopted the Godzilla nickname and the R32 is where that started. So from 1990 to 1994, the R32 won the Japanese Grand Touring Championship and out of 29 races it entered, it won all 29. So that's why it got the nickname Godzilla. Now, clearly the craftsmanship on this vehicle is beyond excellent. Rickwood Motorsport have done a fantastic job with this car and it is spec to the high heavens, centre locks, stripped interior of the cage, twin turbo RB26 and loads of other goodies and you can't hear it right now but it does sound absolutely incredible. But what I find most impressive is the accuracy on the wrap. This wrap just looks just sublime in person. Let's have a quick nosey around for you. Now, if this car looks slightly familiar to you, you might have seen it at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Uh, Jake Hill was at the wheel of this and put down some blisteringly fast times with it. Um, I'll play a little snip of that footage just above now. After this video, definitely go and watch the full shootout. It's, it's just spectacular. Um, the noise alone is something to marvel at, and it's perhaps one of the best runs ever put down in my opinion. Just an opinion, but go and give it a watch. I'll link it down below. Now, it is a little bit dark at the moment, but as you can expect, the interior of this car is just business. Um, it's definitely not spec to be a daily driver. Uh, bucket seat, roll cage in the back, Built to the highest standard, um, there's a lot of work gone into this and it certainly shows. I can't show you right now but there is a fuel setup in the rear and that is also something to marvel at. Now if you want to see more on this car, all you have to do is head down to NY500 where it currently sits along with Quattro, Escort and a Ferrari. So yeah, come on down, have a brew, have some food. Have a look in the workshop, Riders Retros next door, and just, just mooch, have a good time, chat with like-minded people, and enjoy the cars.